Welcome to our six day Kundalini yoga series for total beginners focused on weight loss, energy, and vitality. Hello, my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Welcome back to this intro series on Kundalini yoga. Today's our big finale. It's day six, and we're gonna do a full Kundalini yoga Kriya, which I'm really excited to share with you. If you're just jumping in for today's class, that's great. And if you are, I'd encourage you to check out all the videos that led up to this one as I go over a lot of Kundalini basics that will help you better understand the class we're gonna do today. To begin, just rub the palms, find a comfortable seat. Always a good idea to sit up on a cushion, really make sure you're comfortable, especially because this whole Kriya we're gonna to do today is seated. We'll do a little warm up exercise first though. Press the uh, palms right at the chest, thumbs into the sternum, shoulders drop down and back, lift the heart, eyes drop closed, take a deep breath in and out. And once more, deep breath in and out. And then inhaling to tune in, deep breath in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Suspend the breath, so engage root lock. Pelvic floor lifts up and in, chin dips slightly. Press the tongue to the roof of the mouth, belly button in. Lift the gaze. Exhale as you need to. Just relax. Hmm. Good, and then before we start the Kriya, just come on into all fours, and we'll just do two minutes here of cat-cow to just sort of lubricate the spine, invite some gentle movement into the body. So spread the fingers wide, inhale, lifting the heart, breathe in, exhaling through the nose, breathe out, round the spine, look at your navel. Inhale, you can think sat, exhale, you can think nam, Lifting the gaze to that third eye center, just moving at a pace that feels correct for you today in this moment. So that could be quick. Or it could be quite slow. And breathing out in and out through the nose, close the eyes. Last few, just let it feel good. OK, 
Good, and then deep breath in. Suspend the breath, shoulder heads back, pelvic floor lifts up and in. Lift the gaze, hold the breath as long as comfortable for you. And then when you need to, just exhale, sit back on your heels. You can reach the palms forward. Deep breath in and out. And press yourself back up to seated. And make yourself very comfortable for the Kriya. So the way this one works is that we're going to do three different breathing techniques. So the first one is we're going to breathe in, suspend the breath, and breathe out for equal lengths. So you might choose to breathe in for five, always through the nose for this first one. Hold the breath at the top for five, and exhale five. So in for five, hold for five, breathe out for five. And you could always make this longer, so you could breathe in for eight, if that's comfortable for you, hold for eight, breathe out for eight. Or you could do a three count, in for three, hold for three, out for three. So since this is a beginner focus series, I'm going to just count five because I think that's manageable for most of us. So that's the first part. Second part, we're going to do a cannon breath. So we're going to inhale deeply through the nose and then out through the mouth. And the navel's connected to that action. So try it with me now. So imagine you were almost punched, like the wind was knocked out of you when you do that cannon breath. And then the last part of the breath, you're going to inhale deeply, hold the breath in, and pump the navel as if you were doing breath of fire for as long as you can, and then exhale. So I'll show that from the side as well. So it's an inhale. As you hold the breath in, you pump the belly. So it's as if you're doing breath of fire, but you're not <laughs> actually doing breath of fire, and then you let the breath go. Now, the, the challenge is the mudra that we're going to be doing with these three breaths. This is reverse elbow lock. So you're going to interlace your fingers, and then take the pinkies towards the ceiling, thumbs out, and the hands are at the level of the shoulders. So not drooping up, not too high, just directly in front of the heart and in front of the shoulders. And then after we do all that, the very last thing we'll do is we'll hold the fingers down with the thumbs, except for the index finger, Jupiter finger, and we'll make circles away from the heart. And just so you can keep your eyes closed and really go inward so you know what it looks like, it, it looks like this, you're moving away, but then you're going to go really fast. So fast that your whole spine should shake, right? So it's a very vigorous, active movement. Let's do this. So find a nice, tall spine. Heart lifted, shoulders drop back, and then interlace the fingers. And press the thumb side of the hand forward, pinkies up. And breathe in through the nose for five. Hold five. Exhaling through the nose for five. And continue like that. In for five. Hold five. Exhale five. And your gaze is either focused on the tip of your nose with the eyes just one tenth open or just lift the gaze like we've been practicing this whole series. Gazing up into the third eye space where the root of the nose meets the skull bone. Keeping in mind that this posture is designed to challenge you, so the arms will talk to you. 
And you're just going to stay with the breathing techniques, noticing the sensations as they arise and continuing to stay focused on the breath. Because this is a beginner series, I'm also shortening a lot of these holds. Last round like this, inhaling five, hold five, exhale five. Good, and now begin the Cannon Breath series. You're gonna inhale deeply through the nose. Cannon breath through the O-shaped mouth. It's like you were punched in the belly. The arms are talking to you here. Stay committed, stay focused on the breath. And keep pressing through the thumb side of the hand. Strong exhales. It's like the wind is knocked out of you. Navel moves back to the spine each time. Last 15 seconds here for this one. You're doing great. Of course, if you need to take a break, you just take the arms down, you bless yourself, and you come back to join us as soon as you're ready. But if you can stay with it, this is a powerful moment. Stay with it. Last one. Arms stay as they are, deep breath in. And now pumping the navel. And exhaling. So it's a deep breath in, you hold the breath in, pump the belly as vigorously as you can, pulling the navel back into the spine, just visualizing you're doing breath of fire, but the breath is actually held in, and then exhaling through the nose as you need to. Pull the belly in. It's okay if the whole body shakes. You're doing great. And belly dances as you hold the breath in as long as you can, exhaling as you need to. You've really got this. Last two. <laughs> Last one, wherever you are. Navel pulls in. Good, exhale, keep the arms as they are, keep the arms as they are, stay with me, inhale through the nose. And now engage root lock, pull the pelvic floor up and in, pull the navel back, hold the breath in as long as you possibly can, squeeze the body towards the spine. When you need to exhale through a cannon breath, and again, keep the arms where they are, deep breath in through the nose. I'm going to do this three times. So this is the second time. Pull the pelvic floor up and in. Pull the navel in. Dip the chin. Hold the breath in as long as you can. Cannon breath when you need to breathe out. Last time. You got this. Inhale. 
Pelvic floor lifts up and in, navel in, hold everything up and in, squeeze your body towards your spine. You should almost be shaking. Hold, 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 hold. Cannon breath when you need to release. <sighs> ah. Set the arms down. Just palms on the thighs or in the lap. <sighs> Just notice how you feel. Deep breaths in and out, soaking in now the after effects of that practice. And you can keep the eyes closed unless you want a refresher, in which case you can open the eyes to look at me. But what happens now is the thumbs hold three fingers down except for the Jupiter index finger, which reaches straight up. And now you're making those circles away from the heart. Circles away from the heart. So I'm doing it now in slow motion. If you're looking, otherwise keep the eyes closed if you can, keep the attention in. And now circles get fast. So the whole spine should shake. This is a really vigorous, intense movement. This is going to circulate all the energy we generated in this practice. Really vigorous, go for it, go big. Lift the gaze. You can always press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Whole spine should shake. Last 30 seconds. Outward circles from the heart. Good, and now deep breath in, inhale. Mm, suspend, hold the breath as long as it's comfortable for you. And then exhale, palms can rest face down or face up in the lap, whatever is comfortable for you. Deep breath in. And out. Just feeling this energy you've created. This Kriya is said to get us in touch with our original, most authentic, most powerful self. So see if you can feel that sense of who you are, expansive here. See if you can sense on an energetic level the deepest part of you. If you'd like to lie down on your back and rest, please lie down on your back. If you'd like to sit for just another minute here, stay seated. And focus the gaze on where the root of the nose meets the skull bone.
Just soak in this essential part of yourself. And if you're lying down on your back, stay there, of course, relax. If you're seated and ready to seal your practice, bring the palms back together at the heart and rub the palms gently and press the thumbs into the sternum, elbows wide and strong, palms really pressed together. Lift the chest, shoulders drop back and we'll end with a long sat, short nam. And deep breath in. Sat Nam. Mm, Sat Nam Yogis. May you always get in touch with and honor your deep, authentic self. So much love. Namaste. Thank you so much for completing this whole six day series with me. You should be so proud of yourself and come back to this Kriya we did today again and again. It gets easier the more you do it. I'd love to hear how you're feeling right now. So leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the class. Have a beautiful day from my heart to yours. Namaste. If you're enjoying this Kundalini intro series, I am leading a 40-day Kriya coming up soon. A 40-day Kriya means that you're gonna do Kundalini yoga every single day for 40 days with the support of me and an amazing community. In this special challenge, I have a five minute, a 30 minute, and one hour class for you to choose from. So you can choose which to commit to and make sure that it will fit with your schedule. The tradition of doing a 40-day practice is something that has completely changed my life, given me incredible insights about my personality and fueled my own personal development. I wanna share all of this with you in this new program. Click the link in the cards or find it in the description below this video to sign up. When you do, you'll get all of these beginner intro videos available as downloads as well. I hope you'll be joining me for this special journey so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.